So I will talk about the theoretical foundations of quantum advantage. And the organizers asked me to uh, give the talk in Japanese, so I will speak in Japanese for the remaining of the talk. So at the very beginning, I would like to introduce myself, and I was born in uh, France, and until the university, he, I was in uh, France, and I came to Japan since then for study since then. So 20, 22 years I have been living in, in Japan. And at the, uh, the doctor degree, and I have been uh, studying the, uh, the classic um, computers and also since then, uh, quantum uh, computing that I have studied. And that is about uh, 20 years or so. And in Tokyo University and Kyoto University in Nagoya uh, University, and I have been a uh, uh, professor there. And uh, uh, computer science as well as the e mathematics, that is the e intersections, and especially the theoretical computer science, that's where uh, my research is focuses, and especially in quantum algorithm and quantum computational of complexity. And I will be discussing about the uh, theoretical conditions of the quantum advantage. And in terms of the uh, the quantum computers, and uh, uh, even though there's uh, many different uh, types of the, uh, papers, but uh, um, we know that uh, the small uh, scale quantum computers can uh, perform computations faster than the classical ones. And uh, the quantum and there was the, the paper for the e quantum uh, supremacy, E53 qubit, and the random uh, quantum the circuit output. And that was about it. And uh, the outcome is very important. However, um, um, this was actually uh, useless. And today, what I'm going to use talk about today is something useful, computation, and then what is the advantage of quantum? That is going to be my focus of my talk today. And these are the e algorithm that I have categorized and uh, left inside. And this is the e integer uh, factoring and search and the quantum uh, simulation and distributed computing. And that's for the e probable advantage. And the right hand side, that's a heuric and the quantum annealing and uh, um, a debatic algorithm, QAQA and VQA and such and such. And then and the left hand side, and the left ensure that the advantages for this. However, it is difficult to uh, realize right away. And however, uh, in the right hand side, currently it is possible to realize right now. However, uh, there's a few um, theoretical guarantees for the right hand side. And I have to use the actual data. Performance needs to be analyzed on the real data. However, the, um, the size. Uh, it's not that enough. And uh, today I will focus on the left hand side. And um, this is my research. And uh, uh, quantum uh, algorithm with the uh, probable advantages. And that is my research area. And then a generation of the short uh, algorithm first. And then after that, a quantum algorithm for the uh, algebraic uh, uh, programs and especially matrix uh, multiplication, system of linear equations and quantum simulation, and quantum optimizations. And quite recently, I've started researching a quantum distributed algorithm as well as quantum algorithms for the string uh, problems. And today, and uh, even though there's a, a, a lot of topics, but I will cover each of those. And then I will discuss about the uh, advantage for each of them. And uh, uh, this is the first theme for today, and uh, uh, matrix mat multiplication. And there is the com a problem, uh, which is a uh, compute the product of two and multiple and matrix A and B. And this is one of the e e important fundamental computational tasks and uh, trivial classical algorithm, complexity, BL, and third, and BO, or O is the order, and, and third order, and with the time that you can calculate, and uh, N, 
for example, it could be like a ten thousand. And in that case, that the uh, the square at uh, like the cube cubit cubit of that uh, ten thousand, and uh, uh, you may be able to reduce that much and uh, two point three eight or over. And myself, uh, starting from twenty e top and and a quantum algorithm that I have been focusing on my uh, research and uh, for matrix multiplication. And I will report some of this and how to read the slides. And first of all, and here horizontal, and this is the uh, specificity of the output uh, matrix and n number of non-zero uh, entries and uh, from zero to and squares and here and this is uh, a running time and uh, in this area and in the case and uh, a classic and uh, a quantum there's no differences however if you take a look at this areas and uh, there's uh, differences and uh, uh, in case of the quantum algorithm that's higher and uh, in terms of the classic, even though it's less, but the e n is squares is required in the four, uh, we can actually, uh, this is going to be the evidence for the e advantages. And uh, in case of the sparsity, then quantum is faster. And uh, in n, n of 1.5, and then also in case of a classic, 2.5. Two, so n if it's n is bigger in the case, it's going to be a drastic speed up, and uh, and the quantum advantage for the large space uh, matrices, and using this outcome, it quantum advantages for the many uh, the graph uh, the programs, and that was a sus successful case that we have achieved. And the next one, this is a HHL algorithm, and this is uh, quite uh, famous. And uh, in terms of the naming, and uh, Harrow and Hasidem and Lloyd, and who actually found this, and that is the reason why it is called HHL. And the problem here is that also the same, and A, N, and N, and uh, there's a technical ones a sparse and well condition, but you can ignore this. And uh, there is a big W and the four, a norm MS uh, vectors, and that is a given as a quantum uh, stale. And there's A and uh, the B is given as a, a quantum state. And, and there's one uh, equation, and that is X, X uh, for the vector V, and uh, A inverse is multiplied with. And the next x bar, and that is is it is normalized, and that is going to be e one. And that what we would like to do is that x bar as a the quantum state, and that's what we would like to get an appropriate uh, approximation of the uh, quantum state. That's what we are trying to write here. So x here. And a x equal b, and that is um, one equation, and this is the solution for the one equation, x bar, and that is uh, the numerist, and then x bar, and that is the e quantum state, and a four, and uh, uh, the purpose is a linear e equation solution that we are looking for, and uh, um, what they have came up with, and and there's a quantum algorithm that computes a good approximation of this in time polynomial in log. And uh, all the time is uh, necessary in the e solving systems of the linear equations, and therefore, in case of the quantum, and that's uh, exponentially faster. And however, there's one uh, big challenge or issue. 
and the main issue is that the solution is output as a quantum state. That's a problem because in case of the solution for the linear equipment, we want all of them. However, uh, this is going to be the quantum states and therefore for the applications, it is not the, uh, easy to find. And HHL, original HHL uh, papers, and uh, that was the uh, applications. And for example, for the observer and uh, this, if you can get that approximately, uh, you may be able to get it for that, uh, the s s try to get the information for the statistics. And uh, 10 years ago, and that idea uh, could be applied for quantum machine uh, learning. There was such a paper, and uh, that was uh, pretty prominent for the application. However, in terms of the performance evaluation, that is pretty difficult. The reason is shown in here. And uh, and the classic as well. Uh, theoretical uh, analytics is pretty difficult machine learning. And therefore, the large volume of the data is used and then, then evaluate the uh, performance. However, we only have the smaller uh, the quantum computer and therefore we cannot achieve this. And the theoretical evaluations in the past five years or so, a very smart quantum uh, machine learning algorithm has been developed. And for those algorithm, quantum algorithm, and actually he found out that there's no uh, uh, performance. So it was pretty difficult, theoretically, a body aid. So there is reason why that, that we are facing the issue. So for this HHL algorithm, and we think that the, this is a killer application. Uh, this is a very uh, promising, but uh, hard to analyze the performance. And now I'd like, like to talk about the computational uh, quantum uh, chemistry and what is important is that computing the ground state energy of the quantum system is hard, even for all quantum computers. And since 20 years ago, it is well known statement. However, if the, it is given the approximation of the ground states, in that case, the quality quantum computers will be able to um, calculate with high precision efficiently with the quantum computer. So as long as if you have like a, a, a rough approximation, it will be possible to compute. And in case of the quantum uh, computers, there is the way, R3, phone or something else. There is a hard tree fork method is one of that way. So we can apply this. Now, this problem, in case of the quantum computer, it, it easy. However, with a classical computer, we may not be able to do it. Everybody thought so. However, it, uh, there was no evidence for that from the mathematical um, point of view. And then we've been researching this since last year, and there was one findings. And uh, given the rough ex approximation of the ground state, and with the classic ones, it is difficult to um, actually get the high precision, uh, the grand state energy with the high precision. In case of the classical computers, it is difficult. And we will be able to find out that. And there is another result that we have found. It is quite interesting. And computing the energy with constant precision can be done efficiently, even though the classical computers. And therefore, if you combine those two, and in that case, this shows that a superiority of the quantum algorithm comes from the improved precision. And if it's a higher precision, and then uh, there's advantage. If it's a lower uh, precision, in that case, there's no advantage. Theoretically, uh, this uh, outcome was quite interesting. And now, this is the next theme. 
and the quantum optimizations, and there's uh, many of the uh, researches, and uh, and there's the heuristics, and then also the advantage with the uh, theoretical guarantees, and both of them. And however, uh, this uh, convex uh, optimizations, and this is one of the focus recently, and uh, and this is a continuous optimizations, and then. It will have the uh, good uh, the natures and LP and SDP and those are very uh, famous for convex optimization and has uh, the wide range of the application and rich risk guarantees and they can be solved efficiently by uh, classical uh, solvers and the four um, with this uh, this is very e easy and the uh, complexity is here and n and uh, at the number of the variables and then also x out and the precision of the solutions and with this uh, equations and and if you use a quantum computers it will be faster uh, 2016 there was a breakthrough and this is it and this is the result and then after that and there has been some improvement, and this is the best one, and this is a complexity as of now. And then please focus on it. And for this one, and it has been uh, uh, improved, however, in terms of the exponent, and uh, it's got worse. And with this approach, uh, we cannot uh, help doing so with the lower uh, positions, and then a bigger improvement can be seen in terms of the computation type. However, uh, you would have a higher uh, precision. However, the key point here is that if there's a large uh, problem, and in that case, a variable is going to be something like uh, several millions or several um, thousand. And in that case, like if this kind of uh, complexity and uh, to 0.5, and in that case, uh, even though with a supercomputer, it does not solve. And uh, four, if you want to um, find the solutions, so you have to use the uh, computers. And that could be a solution, and therefore the impact is quite big, I think. And uh, this is the last theme, the quantum algorithm for string problems. And recently, two years ago, I have been researching this area. And uh, this is the basic uh, the problems. And I give it to uh, strings X and Y, a plan and compute their uh, similarity, and that is a problem given. And a uh, file, or the bit, and a file you want to compare, or the DNA comparison, and that is uh, one of the examples, especially in case of the DNA, and it's very, very long, and uh, uh, three billions or so, which is the uh, length of the uh, string, huge. And we want to compare that. In order to compare, and we had to define similarity, and one major one would be the longest common substring. And that length that we would like to find out, and order and linear, and this is the optimal. And it's quite rapid. And however, the length is here, so it takes time. And recently, and uh, with the co researchers, and uh, uh, we're actually researching this in case of the quantum, it will be enhanced or improved. And the result recently, uh, this year, there was the improvement, and the best is this complexity that we have received quite recently. And therefore, there's advantage in case of a class, and, and it does not go more than uh, n. And therefore, this is with the evidence, and linear n. And, and, um, Third, and uh, not exponentially, however, the data itself was uh, quite big, and therefore, I think that that led to the uh, quite big speed up. And therefore, this is quite new uh, topic in uh, quantum algorithm, and I think that, that there is going to be uh, some new findings. And uh, at the end, uh, I, I have talked about the, uh, the, the recent trend of this area, and uh, we have to find more applications for the uh, com 
quantum computers, especially more uh, exponential uh, speed ups, and that algorithm needs, needs to be developed. And based on the heuristics, uh, quantum algorithm in that area, with a disk device that needs to be realized. And for those, you have the advantage of the quantum heuristic algorithm. And for this theme as well, I would like to continue the research. And with this, I would like to conclude. Thank you very much.